Okay, so we're about to go on another trip. Uh, just a weekend trip. We're just uh, trying to make our way to a remote camp on Lake Superior and we have to cross the big bay to do it. And we're just working on uh, breaking trail. So hopefully on the long weekend, that's next weekend, we can uh, spend it at our camp because our trail's in. We don't have to waste a bunch of time. Dog sled's packed. This trip, uh, we didn't bring a tent or anything. We are just going to, um, we're just gonna camp on a spruce bow bed once we get across the bay. And then uh, set up camp for the night. It's gonna be really warm in the plus temperatures both days. So it should be nice sleeping weather. As you can see, the sun is just rising. So beautiful. So it's a little windy today. Uh, me and Jamie are both dressed extraordinarily warm because you're pretty exposed when you're on the lake. Um, and then we'll probably strip down a few layers once it gets to the other side but I think it's gonna be a pretty awesome day. hours across the lake. still out. How cool is that? for you. The GPS is telling me that we have traveled uh, 14 kilometers so that's pretty good. Um, we still have a few kilometers to go. Dogs are doing well. It's a little less windy on this side of the uh, bay which is nice. Um, yeah. We're 
15 kilometers down. It's still early. The sun's just isn't quite all the way in the sky yet, but it's rose now. Nice and big. So that's nice. We're starting to get a little closer to shoreline. The shoreline and the dogs start to get excited when we start to get close to shore because it gives them something to look forward to. Okay, so we've crossed the bay, we've made it to the trail, and now we're using this trail to get to another bay and travel up that shoreline. Um, we've gone about 23 kilometers, the GPS said, so far, and it's before noon, so that's good. We're making good time. Dogs are quick today. Should... I believe on this, in this bay, it should be open water, which will be pretty cool. Won't feel like February. Hike. Okay, we are at 30 kilometers. That's pretty good. Right on the shore, open water. I was saying to Jamie, who needs a tropical vacation? We have a nice beach, nice winter beach. The dogs are pulling great today. They still have lots of energy taking a break right now but I think we might even be able to make it all the way to camp so we're gonna bring all of our uh, camping stuff with us and see how far we make it Okay, we're at our final destination. For today anyways. We've made it 32 kilometers. Uh, didn't make it to camp. We still probably have another 15 kilometers to camp. Uh, we found the trail there, but it's getting dark and we need to start setting up camp. Pretty gorgeous though, eh? Lake Superior views never get old. Dogs are tired. This is our sleeping setup for tonight. Just two mummy bags. We have a little spruce belt bed and a sleeping pad. We have Taz sleeping up with us because she's in heat. So she's getting spoiled tonight. Gets to sleep beside us. That's been a long day. Let's get some rest. Okay, we're just waking up here. It's a really nice morning. It was actually a great sleep. Taz wants to come cuddle in between the two of us. And the dogs are all 
down at the lake jealous that Taz is up here. So they've been howling. Shh. Hey. But it was a good sleep anyways. Very comfy. Had a pretty relaxing morning at camp. It's probably around 10 now. We have to start the long journey back. Jamie's just cutting trail right now. You can hear him in the background with the chainsaw. And I'm gonna start packing all the gear up. The dogs. Anyone has any questions about what gear we're using? Um, we actually just got these and I think pretty happy with them we got these sleeping pads and uh, sleeping bags from this company called wiggies they're in the states they even come with these pillows and um little sleeping socks they're almost like little sleeping bags for your feet um and it's awesome like they're supposed to be rated minus 60 the sleeping bags uh the sleeping pads like you can see we had a very minor spruce bell bed just to keep our, our stuff a bit dry and off the snow and we felt zero cold coming from underneath us so i think we're pretty happy they're extremely comfortable and big and you can crawl around in there it was awesome awesome sleep um obviously it's pretty warm out right now but i'm pretty confident uh that they'll be warm in colder temps so just in case anyone was wondering We're on our way back. Thought I'd show you guys how terrible the trail is. There's not enough ice this year. Last year it was all packed along the trail and we could follow the shoreline. But this year there's, it's been pretty warm. So we're just following a tiny little trail along the shoreline. And I have to say it's not particularly safe. And we're working on um, a trail further up in the bush for years like this. Jamie did quite a bit of that this morning and he got a good section done. What he did was great, but now we're back on this. We'll probably be working on it a bit next weekend as well. Gorgeous view though.
that's coming to an end. Um, by the end, by the time we get to the vehicles, the dogs would run 64 kilometers. Come on, guys, hike. Let's go, let's go. 64 kilometers this weekend, that's pretty good. It's the beautiful weather. Um, the trail to our camp definitely needs some work, but we got a lot done and we enjoyed the nice weather, so it's great. We'll be back out for the long weekend coming up and get some more work and hopefully get to camp. That's a wrap, I guess. <laughs>